Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I am going to talk a little bit more about the Argon 8. And one of the things I'm going to talk about is uh, pulse width modulation and also a bit about square wave and the oscillator modul modulator uh, that is an inverter, which is um, something I'm going to start with to show you um, how you can use that to make a uh, more pulse width modulation. Uh, for me, I think that's a really cool kind of old-fashioned thing, but you take a square wave, and when it's, when you take a square wave and basically um, lengthen it or kind of stretch it, you get different tonalities, and if you sweep that, you get really kind of these sounds, and I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate one of those sounds that uh, has been used in albums and such, and so that you'll hopefully recognize it. But let's go with starting off with a patch. I, I was looking at the patches that are delivered with the Argon 8, and I found a couple of them really interesting. Um, in fact, I'll just I'll just play one of them for you uh, because probably the fastest way to kind of explain the sound of it. And I hope this this one's very loud, so I have to be a little careful with the volume on this one. <laughs> but uh, so depending on your speaker setup. be really loud and bassy, especially that one. So anyway, this this patch is patch uh, 59, and it's called Slow Morph Bass. And one of the things about it is when I listened to that, I thought, how are they making that? And I looked at um, their uh, assignment for the oscillator mod, and I saw it was using inverter, and I thought, well, that doesn't seem like it would work. And then I looked at what they're doing and I thought, wow, this is really cool. So let me sh show you why I think it's cool. So let me go back to um, where I was. I was up in this range. I'm just going to grab a knit patch. Whoops. Actually, I want to go back into here. Uh, give me one second. All right. Like this one's fine. Just using the basic knit patch. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a square wave so I can show you this. So I'm going to hit an E, and I'm just going to tell it to lock that. And now I'm going to go to um, the, this is the VA waveforms, which is just really basic. Square wave, okay. Kind of loud, I don't know if I'm going to have it maintained the whole time. But what I'm going to do is, with this square wave on, on wave one, one of the things that you can't do... Uh, is you can't actually just change the uh, look the duty cycle is, is what's called on the uh, pulse width. You can't you know just move the line on the square wave, and so they added on wave two a special you know oscillator that will do that. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'll show that real quick. So when you go to wave two, if I set it not to the uh, virtual analog uh, waveforms, but if I set it to PWM. Um, then I actually get, if I go over to this here and I play that same note, it's going to be very similar, except when I move this, okay, so that's kind of classic pulse width modulation, because it's literally changing the pulse width. Okay, so now, uh, one thing that was cool is I thought, okay, what happened? What does this inverter do? And so let me set up the inverter. Uh, so it's inverter, and uh, right now it's not doing anything. And we're listening to wave one now, not wave two, because I uh, switched the mix all the way over. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, wave one, and well, let me play it. Okay, and now I'm going to change the oscillator. See how similar these are? So for me, I was like, that's so awesome. Like, you know, now I can use that. You can kind of double those effects or use them in different ways. And so um, I used them on a, a sound that I always wanted to uh, to do. And so I'll show you that. Um, but before I get too far, I'll just kind of start trying to build it from scratch. And then I'll load up the patch. So, um, and that rhymes. Scratch and patch. There you go. Clever. So this wave two is sounding, you know, like 
that. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set it all the way to wave two, so we only hear that. And I'm going to map my uh, mod envelope to just change the the wave, so it goes all the way to the right. So it'll just start at that early pulse width and go to the end. So it sounds like this. And you hear that kind of like flinging kind of sound. And then I'm going to just change the shape a little bit so that it goes up and down. And now I'm going to add some uh, filter onto that. So I'm going to turn our filter all the way down, go to the filter envelope, do kind of a similar shape with the attack and release. And right now I'm not hearing anything because I didn't give it a... And you're starting to get kind of a kind of a classic sound here. And I'm going to tune the mod envelope so you can hear it better. So if you get this attack, just right, you get this very distinct. Well, that's all the way to the front. That's not quite what I want. It's right about there, where it just starts to distort just a little bit. All right, let me set the amp also pretty similar. Okay, so we got that, and then now what I'm going to do is bring over to the, the middle, so we get that other square wave there. And now remember, uh, the oscillator mod was also doing that and changing the... Uh, so I start to get two pulse width so that you can kind of play with. So what I did was I, I'm going to map that same mod envelope to the oscillator mod this time and have it change. Actually, oh, it didn't take that time. Let me tap it again. So it's blinking. Okay, 15, there we go. One zero to, there we go. Let me move this up an octave. Okay, it doesn't quite sound like I, like I was getting to earlier, but uh, I'm going to keep. It's not a bad sound. I'll just thicken that and, and work with that. So I'm going to stack that, add some spread. So you start to get this classic kind of you know, brass sound from this. Um, I'm going to load up the patch that I did. I did a little more work with that, just taking those two, you know, the pulse width, and then using the square wave on wave one, and then using the inverter on the oscillator mod to give me kind of more room to play with to get more harmonics uh, you know, into the filter. And so I'll load you up uh, this tr patch I did. And it sounds... It's kind of similar, but when you play that out, I'm going to play it through my sequencer. You might recognize that. Now I'll add a little bit of reverb on that, and it sounds like this. If you know the song, you know you're waiting for that <laughs> that next part to come in, which which I'm going to add just for fun. Uh, I'll do that because it's. Again, it's fun to take a synthesizer and then just take a sound that you want to re recreate and create it. So this is my... Uh... So that was a sound that I made, which is by uh, Yaz, or if you're in the UK, it's Yazoo. Uh, and uh, that is the track Don't Go. Uh, so it was uh, done by Vince Clark, and he was using a Pro 1 to make that, and it's... Uh, using pulse width modulation. So I wanted to show that real quick uh, on uh, how you can create create that uh, type of sound on the Argon 8, because it'll certainly do that. And that's about it for this one. And I will, probably the next one, I'm going to show a little bit about the uh, stereo mapping on the uh, Argon 8, because it's uh, also kind of an interesting topic. So thanks for your time. Take it easy. Bye.